Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at five things every new Google Calendar user should know how to do. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm signed into my Google Calendar and I'm going to display only the calendar that's named after me, my personal calendar. Let's take a look at our first thing you should know how to do. And that is create an event. So let's say tomorrow morning I need to take my dog to the vet. We'll say take Max to the vet. And I can leave that and just create it as is right now. And now if I want to put more information into that, I'll click on the event and I can put in the location of where I'm going to take my dog. So it's Bridge to Mains where my vet is. Description and say Max needs his annual exam. Right. And now down here under notifications, I can set the notifications that I want to receive. Uh, I can say I want an email or I want a desktop or mobile notification. I'll say I want an email 10 minutes beforehand. In this case, an email 10 minutes beforehand is not going to help me. So an email one hour beforehand will help me. And now let's save that event. So the next thing we're going to do is take a look at the aesthetics of the calendar. Now, I want to not use this light blue color for my personal calendar. I want my personal calendar to have all my events appear in this nice shade of orange. And so now my count, all my calendar events will be in orange. Not significant when you're only using the calendar for your own personal events, but will become significant if you start to add more calendars into your account. You can see there my birthday calendar is a different color than my Richard Byrne calendar. Now the next thing we're going to do is take a look at how we can change the display of the calendar itself. So you can go to a day-by-day -day view, week view, month view, four-day view, or you can take a look at the agenda view. And the agenda view is great because it'll put all of your events into a list format for you. Now you can go back to the week format at any time. Now the last thing we're going to do is take a look at how to print out your calendar. We do this here in my house and we print it out and keep it on our refrigerator just because it helps us keep track of everyone's life and so we can go down here and we're going to display calendars, feeding and napping schedules, birthdays. We can see all those things appear up there. And now we'll go ahead and we will print this calendar. And we can print it as we currently see it in the week view. We can print it for the next four weeks or any other range of dates very handy way to kind of keep track of things in your personal and professional life by printing out your calendar and displaying it at home on your refrigerator or wherever you communicate that information with the other people in your home. So those are five things you should know how to do in Google Calendar. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com and freetech4teachers.com.